Hello guys, I am Ravi Paliwal and today we are going to start with Wireshark Labs. So let's get an introduction to Wireshark that what is it? So Wireshark is a free and open source network protocol analyzer tool and we can also say it a packet sniffing tool. A packet sniffing tool is a tool that sniffs uh, means captures the packets traveling throughout the network and Wireshark is often useful for network administrator and security professionals. So, uh, it is uh, useful in troubleshooting the network. So uh, I will show you the guide that I am following. That guide is by Jim Kuros and you can also find this guide by just searching Wireshark Labs by Jim Kuros. So let's uh, proceed and understand the typical structure of uh, packet sniffer. So in the structure of packet sniffer, there is a, a user space and there is a system space. Uh, think that you have application web browser and you are doing uh, something in web browser. It is sending uh, data through network using these transport uh, layer, network layer and layers of network like uh, and using these protocols tcp udp uh, ip protocol ethernet protocol and many other so in the system space these protocols are working and in the user space these applications uh, which uses networks or browsers etc are working so packet sniffer is also having this kind of structure to capture this kind of data the packet sniffer have two parts the packet analyzer and the packet capture library so the packet capture library is uh, implemented in the system side and the packet analyzer which is a gui tool which helps you to analyze the packets captured uh, is uh, on the user side so packet capture library what it does that you have suppose you have uh, it uh, your network card uh, installed in your systems so it captures the data going through the network cards and uh, this captures data passed to to the packet analyzer so we can analyze it easily so this is the structure i hope you will uh, understand it and uh, now we will go to wireshark and let's uh, get our hand dirty in wireshark so you can download Wireshark from this link and I have already already downloaded Wireshark. You can also download Wireshark uh, from here and uh, there are just uh, simple steps to download Wireshark. Okay, so I will show you the Wireshark screen. When you download Wireshark and open Wireshark, you will see this kind of screen so we will be back on this screen and uh, now we'll go to our presentation so uh, why should we use wireshark so uh, i hope some things you already have cleared but uh, for the sake of presentation i will explain that uh, uh, to troubleshoot the network issues uh, identify problems and bottlenecks or unusual behavior on the network you can use wireshark for network optimization uh, for network optimization you will use wireshark for uh, uh, getting better response time or optimizing your database or optimizing your uh, network app application that is implemented or uh, over network for security and for compliance so uh, features of wireshark uh, we have already covered many of these things uh, but features of wireshark is uh, wireshark are the capture and analysis of packets and it supports many protocols uh, i think it supports all the protocols that are implemented uh, usually and it it provides us functionality to capture live data and it will have powerful display and packet uh, display filters and capture filters which helps us to uh, capture specific traffic uh, throughout the network and it have various plugins and it is uh, also capable to export the captured and analyzed data to um, our system uh, so let's get to wireshark
so this is visor screen and this is our title bar and this is menu bar here uh, are various functionalities we will explain this functionality as we go further in our lectures so here you can apply a display filter and here you can apply a capture filter so capture filter is applied to capture specific data and display filter is uh, applied for uh, displaying specific data so you can see that uh, i am connected to uh, wi-fi so it is showing wi-fi and if you will connect you are connected to ethernet or any other network these all networks are shown here okay so uh, we will open our wi-fi network and try to analyze something so this is a network uh, network data so here the uh, data of the a protocol data is shown and here the bytes that are going in uh, the that particular packet are shown you can apply a filter here suppose uh, we we want to apply the the filter for tcp and we want to capture just tcp data so we will apply tcp and hit enter so it will show all the, all the network packets that are using tcp protocols so in this beginning lab we will not uh, burden you with more things but just show you the some basics of it so uh, this wireshark screen in this wireshark screen you can see here you can also set your profile and profile is used for uh, setting preferences of uh, different users suppose you want to display these uh, uh, pack these packets and then this uh, packet uh, structure and uh, you don't want this binary data here so you can also remove it and you can uh, apply some uh, set some preset for these filters so that's why the profile is uh, useful in the wireshark capture you can stop capturing from here also and uh, you can analyze the packet by just clicking on the packet and this is the here it is the packet showing that this is tcp packet it is showing everything about this packet like source port destination port stream index and various others details flex and many details uh, i'll show you the view menu here you can uh, customize many things and you can also explore these things on uh, internet also so i i will show you colorized packet list so it uh, colorize uh, it uh, remove the colors from here so i'll again show uh, click on color colorize packet list so it apply some colors on these packets uh, we can also i think we can also edit uh, these colors according to our uh, customization so you can see here for bad tcp we have uh, used this color for uh, tcp uh, this uh, tcp dot flex dot reset flag uh, for reset flag we have applied this color for uh, routing we have applied this color so you can customize this uh, color from here so i will not be showing you these uh, all things you can this all thing you can explore from here so um, that is it for the first lecture guys so thank you for being in the lecture and uh, you have also seen the installation it just installation is just a simple part you can go to website and uh, follow the simple uh, simple installation guides